Yo, what's up, guys? Andrew Cruzy here, uh, CEO and founder of Tribe of Buyers, and I'm actually hanging out with one of our clients, Charlie Price, over there hanging what's out. Up? Sorry, I should have just held it there. Say what's up again. Hey, what's going on? Uh, say what's what's your favorite food? Um, quick, hamburger, quick, hamburgers. Okay, hamburgers, hamburgers. hamburgers. Oh, yeah. I love Chinese food. Uh, so that's how we're going to start this off. And in this live, what we're going to do is audit your Facebook groups for more engagement. Uh, more growth, more monetization. And I haven't done a uh, fix my Facebook group live in a while. Uh, so let's knock out as many as we can during our time together. So if you have a Facebook group, drop the link down below and I will hop in your Facebook group and audit it live here for you for more uh, engagement, growth, and monetization. Uh, so just drop it down below. If you're here with us live, give me a hashtag live so I know you're here. And if you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay so I can give you a big, uh, uh, just so I can think about you. I'm pulling it up right here and something. All right, Jackie, good to see you. Thanks for being here. And whoever else is here. Also, I haven't done this in a while. Um, I've been moving around a little bit and I'm back in beautiful Encinitas, California, uh, just living on the beach here um, and back in my happy place. So it's good to be with you guys. It's good to be back and uh, rocking out a uh, fix my Facebook group live with you again. So let's hop into it. What up Casper? Are you man just added you to my group? I commented under your post epic. I will hop in your group. Um, then Casper. So let's turn this thing around. So um, the first Facebook group I want to show you is one of our clients' Facebook groups who went from nobody in their Facebook group, no um, offers whatsoever. They were just experts. They were really great at what they did, and they wanted to come online so they could spend more time with their family um, and not have to move around as much. This was about, uh, about a year and a half ago. And what they were able to do is under a year, they were able to build their Facebook group up to thousands and thousands of members. Now it's over 10,000 members. And they were able to create a million dollar business in just one year with their Facebook group being their main traffic source. So um, let me show you their Facebook group and what they do in there. Oh, so here they are, Jen and Stacy. They're absolutely incredible. If you are investing into real estate and want to go into cash flow real estate, these are the people that you want to work with. Uh, they are the founders of Warriors of Wealth. Um, and they built this Facebook group from absolutely nothing to over 10,000 members uh, in a little bit over a year. So as you can see, um, they have a really, really good Facebook name for the people that they're looking to attract, right? That's the very first thing in your Facebook group where a lot of people screw up where they just put this general name and it's not attracting their ideal clients, right? So if you look at our Facebook group name, uh, we have seven figure CEOs, operations, delivery, sales, and marketing, marketing systems for online coaches. So one simple tweak that you can do if you haven't done it yet is just add in a four. Who's your ideal client? Who's it for, right? So they do it great here. They just say multifamily real estate investing. It's direct to the point. Uh, everybody that's joining their group is interested in multifamily real estate investing, and that's who they're going after. So it's a great, great name. Then the next thing I want you to look at is the banner. Um, banner is great. It pops. It has their logo. It, uh, it has their faces. It goes over uh, what, what they're going over in the group. Uh, learn to build a cash flow and long-term wealth with uh, multifamily real estate, right? There's the main benefit of the group. If you can put that in your banner, that's perfect. And what we teach a lot of are these two-step posts. So uh, this one was for book a call. You're not gonna get the maximum reach when you're saying, hey, book a call here, but it can work to get some quick wins and get some quick um, booked calls. So um, doing these types of two-step posts work great. 
if you want to go through our group and model our two-step posts, uh, who didn't get to see our free three-hour organic sales immersion yet, boom, we got over 158 comments and we had over 200 people register for this event and then we recorded it and following up after the event, we got more leads into our pipe, right? We got more people to watch that actual recording. So if you are doing um, Facebook Lives even, or if you're doing uh, special events through Zoom, always have a follow-up post saying, hey, who hasn't seen this yet? And you can get it over to them via Messenger. So we have people reaching out here to them, right? And I just did this type of two-step post um, to get people to comment down below for this actual video. These are absolute gold uh, and you need to be doing them. Um, so moving on here, and if you guys have any questions along the way, drop questions down below. If you get any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button, the more engagement we get, the more people can reach, the more people we can help. Um, and here's a little piece of gold. So in our seven figure CEO program and our authority accelerator program, we teach five day challenges and they absolutely rock it. Uh, Jen and Stacy here have made over 400 to $500,000 off of five day challenges. Um, and they absolutely crush. All of our clients, majority of our clients are running five day challenges regularly uh, and making a crap ton of money from them. And Doug Botton, one of our seven figure CEO clients came in and did a training on them. They're just absolutely incredible. So five day challenges in group, no matter what industry you're in, work really, really, really well. Um, so I don't have much to audit here since these are our clients and they're absolutely crushing it out of here. Um, but we have some Facebook groups to audit here. And again, if you have a Facebook group, drop the link down below and I will audit your Facebook group. So we have Deva here. And the first thing I wanna look at is the Facebook group name. So producing influential leaders of tomorrow. So Deva, I'm sure you have an offer. We want to call those people out. So producing influential leaders in the uh, corporate space or something like uh, creating corporate executives that thrive, something like that. We want to call out our ideal client in the Facebook group name. We want to attract them if they're searching it via the Facebook group. Uh, search bar, or we want to, uh, if they see us in the Facebook group suggestions, we want to make sure that they know this Facebook group is for them. So that's one big thing that I would change is the actual name of the group. Um, and producing info pilot, okay, I like the acronym, become the powerful voice of your brand. So in your Facebook group banner, you want to make sure that you have your face in the Facebook group banner so they see you as the authority in the group. And you want to have a mission of the group. This is another thing that a lot of people are missing inside of their group. Why does your group exist? Um, so my first group was the six figure digital marketer. It was all digital marketers going to six figures. And I had a nice little mission statement underneath uh, uh, that or in that banner. So have some type of a mission statement in your banner, right? So those are two really quick tweaks that I would make. And then, um, let's go into the copy here. So this is one thing that I noticed, uh, for you, Deva, um, is this copy, do you struggle with going live on video? So one thing that I would tweak here is actually creating story posts. So what I mean here is you want to show your audience what to do, not tell them what to do. So what I would do here is I remember when I struggled live going on video, my hands would always tremble. I would, my eyes would always dart on Facebook lives and I was scared shitless, boom. That's a really, really good hook and something that people can empathize with. And your copy wants to go, you wanna take it from vulnerability to victory. So taking them through the story of, I was here, now I'm here, that's why you can learn from me. 
So that is showing instead of telling them what to do. So it's very, very powerful. And we call it intimacy marketing doing this through organic marketing posts. Now, organic marketing is a little bit different from uh, ads because ads, you can be a little bit more direct with them. With Facebook organic, you want to make it a little bit more relatable, right? So I hope that helped. And boo, boo, boo. Cool, doing the Facebook Live thing. Um, the biggest thing I would change is just your first line. Um, your first two lines on Facebook are usually the only two lines that show up before you have to click see more. So you want to make sure that hooks your reader. Um, so working with your voice, find out what uh, uh, Francesca did. So you want to make sure in your first line that uh, it hooks the reader um, before you go on. So in here, you want to make it relatable to what the pain points are and what the goals are of your audience. I Maybe it's because I'm not in this group. I don't know exactly uh, what this means, but you want to make sure that it brings uh, the viewer in. Um, that's super crucial. And I see a lot of people not even putting titles on their Facebook Lives. You need to have a title on your Facebook Lives to uh, get more people on. So cool, cool, cool. Dope, dope, dope. What do you think, Charlie? Working here, chilling out. <laughs> Just chilling. This song's got me, got me good. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like an oven in here. Um, cool. So this is good. I love this picture. I believe this is you. So that is a really good pattern interrupt. That's what we're trying to do with our pictures. You don't want to use stock photos or anything like that because people will just scroll through them. If you have a picture like this, definitely use it on a good post. Um, so that's awesome. And then how do I handle stress and stay at the top of my game? Pretty good hook, because so people can relate to that. Um, I perform, of course. So we wanna like, with our copy, we wanna drag it on a little bit. We don't wanna give them an answer like right away. We wanna dive deeper into um, uh, keeping them reading, right? So how do I handle stress and stay at the top of my game? Uh, then you can go into a story of a uh, time where you weren't at the top of your game and you didn't handle stress well and like have people relate to you, right? And then keep it going down here. So boom. let's welcome happy. Uh, let's give a happy welcome to our members. So with welcome posts, I would just create a central one and just tag them all in a central welcome post. So what we do here is we have things, lead magnets that we want um, our Facebook group members to go to, and then we just tag them in the post here um, and say, welcome, download the free course above. And that way it just stays all in one spot it's the first thing that people see. They can see the Facebook group is engaged. Um, and we want to make sure that we're just tagging all the new members in one spot. So I would switch that up from just doing these posts to giving them something right off the bat after they join your Facebook group. Ooh, do, do. Cool, cool, cool. Also, what I don't see um, is a, a hype post for your interviews. So for example, <clears throat> I just did a two-step post for this Facebook Live because we wanna maximize the amount of people that actually show up. So fix my Facebook group, episode 10, coming later, comment down below. And also, let me give you a better example. example. Um, do. Do, 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 do. We can just search it. 100K. Do, do, do. There are a lot of 100K posts. <laughs> All right. 
So what I'm trying to say is if you're going live and talking about how a client made 100K in uh, from one post like I did here, make that post 24 hours before the actual live, get people to comment, and then tag people in the Facebook Live. So I have my executive assistant who tags people in the Facebook Live uh, when I'm going live for interviews and that sort of stuff. So that will maximize the amount of people that actually get on the Facebook Live, right? So cool. So Deva, I hope that helped. And Casper just had me join his group. Casper, if you can drop the link down below again, that would be incredible. And then I can find your group. Or it can go here. Boom, boom. Bobby V in the house. What's up, dude? Let me grab this. If you can add me to your group, Bobby, that would be fantastic. And then Casper, I need to find your group. If you guys are getting any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button. Hop in here. All right. Casper, my man. So business growth for private tennis coaches. Great name. Great banner. You know what you're doing here. This is spot on. Fantastic. Um, who missed the last free class? How to attract high paying clients and once access. Perfect. Nailing it. Um, boom. Happy Tuesday. So I wouldn't waste this real estate with happy Tuesday, everyone. So like your first line is crucial to hook the, act to hook the watcher or listener. You might've doubled the amount of people who attended with a good first line. Um, so we don't wanna make this like just talking. We wanna make this good copy that actually hooks a reader, tells a story, and then gets them to watch this thing, right? Uh, so I dedicated some time to record 20 minute videos for you where I'm sharing seven tips on how to attract high paying clients. Boom, that's it. Um, uh, Want to learn the seven tips on uh, how to attract high paying clients? Boom, that should be your first line. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Who's your ideal client? Kids, juniors, great, great stuff. I'm really excited and grateful to see my clients' results, getting results. <clears throat> Solid. I think the first line could be better, again, um, when we can add in numbers in there. So this is our Authority Accelerator program. So we've got uh, a client results post. So let's go through an example here for you, Casper. Boom. Long form, boom, holy wow. Like simple first line of like, okay, what's he gonna say after holy wow, right? In January of 2018, I flew down to Miami to meet Jeff in person. Boom, going into the story, why did you fly down to Miami to see Jeff in person? Cool, let's go in here too. <clears throat> There's too much focus on personal achievement in the coaching consulting space, boom. And not enough on actual uh, client success. Good first line because uh, a lot of coaches and consultants can agree with that, right? So good stuff there. So I hope that helps Casper with writing those posts. Where did it go? Okay, that's not your group, boom, okay. Keep it going. You want to attract high paying, cool, solid first line. Yep, solid value post, great. Um, cool, perfect. Yeah, if you guys aren't doing this, Casper, perfect, by the way. Um, people who join your program, tell people that, uh, tell people in your free group that people are joining your program, right? That works really, really well. Um, are you like, and people will comment beneath it a lot of times, like, what is this program? And then you can just book a call there, right? 
Um, are you ready and motivated to take your tennis coaching business to the next level? Solid. Uh, who hasn't signed up for a free match class? Boom. Good. Two-step posts. Uh, I, is this a live? Okay, cool. So I never do pre-recorded videos. I don't know if this is a pre-recorded video, but we will always want to post with intent and pre-recorded videos just don't work well on Facebook. Facebook wants it to be a Facebook Live, right? So I think the only thing, so you are doing lives here, so that's good. Um, I'd love to see more interviews with tennis experts. I think that would get a lot of people on your lives and you don't need to be the only one sharing super valuable information, right? This is good. Cool, so there's a, there's a solid interview. But yeah, everything looks pretty good. Let me know your number one takeaway, buddy. All right, and then Bobby, did you let me in? Boom, you did. All right, Bobby, let's tear it apart. Done for you clients, ops delivery, sales marketing systems for coaches. All right, taking the name. <laughs> Uh, message me clients to see how I can help. Um, so I would remove that. So we want to like, we want to make sure that we're cultivating a community um, and not going straight for the sale, right? People can read into this and we want to make sure we're cultivating the community. And then if people are interested, they'll comment on our two-step posts and then we'll engage in a conversation. Um, this is going to take from you more than it's going to give to you. So I would remove that. Uh, you're up, fam. Again, first line is the most important thing. That doesn't do anything for me. Um, so always spend more time on your first two lines to hook your reader. Uh, to better understand what you're here for. Cool. That's good. Solid question. Uh, comment clients below. Let us implement systems in place of your business. <clears throat> so I want to know what this video is about in the first two lines. Like this can come after your, this isn't telling me anything about the video. You want people to watch the video. So make sure when you're creating these posts that, that you're telling them what the video is going to be about, right? What's the central thing, right? Um, if you can ask your question, I wonder what would it be? I think this is just a picture. I never post like pictures like this. Um, I would make it more like this. So it's native to Facebook. Um, we're not getting client results. Okay. So this was solid first line but you want to make sure you're not using stock photos like make sure this is a picture of you right um yeah this copy doesn't do anything for me sorry serve like a ninja this script will help you okay just remove this the script will help you and a member of your team to close the clients like a ninja yeah remove the first part I don't really know what closing like a ninja means. And the more tangible we can be, like it'll help close 2x more, uh, more clients. Boom, that's more tangible. That actually speaks to me, right? Um, cool, cool, cool. Yep, if you just fix your first two lines and stop using stock photos, you will get way more engagement. Yep, same thing. Those are the main things. Um, and I don't see you tagging new members, are you? Okay, here you go, okay, cool. Sweet, yes, you are, nailed it. All right. Let me go down here. Who else dropped there? Facebook group link here, cool, thanks. Number one takeaway, first line, yep. All right. Doesn't look like it's allowing me to grab your Facebook group. So let's see if I can do it this way. Nope. 
All right. Well, I think we'll end it there. I will do another Fix My Facebook group live uh, at another time, and I'll see if I can grab those links that you guys dropped down below. Uh, but hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that heart button, hit that like button. The more engagement we get, more people can reach, more people can help. Talk to you guys later.